now you already know a lot about uh, variables in JavaScript. You know about different types. You know what is a function. You know what is a function expression and so on. Now it's a good time to talk about operators. Actually, before in this course, we have used operators a lot. For example, assignment operator or plus operator. But now let's define what is operator in JavaScript. Operator in JavaScript is simply built in function, nothing else. It is hidden and you are not able to access contents of this function for each operator. But in fact, under the hood, there is such function for each operator. There are many different operators in JavaScript, such as assignment, plus, and, delete, not, multiply, or, type of, and many, many more. All operators are grouped in different groups, and uh, there are such groups as arithmetic operators, logical operators, and so on. Now I will not explain each individual operator, but uh, in the practice section and in the challenges, we will discuss most commonly used operators. Ok, let's look at the sample piece of code. And in this code there are many different operators. For example, on the first line you see comma operator. And using comma operator you can separate different expressions. And in this example, instead of declaring a and b variables on two different lines using let a and let b syntax, we use simply one line of code. And we use here comma operator between variable names a and b. Next, next you see assignment operator. And assignment operator we have used a lot in this course. And it is used when you want to assign value to the variable. And here we assign value 10 to the variable a. Next we assign value of the variable a to the variable b. And uh, next we define new variable c and use assignment operator in order to assign sum of a and b to new variable c. But here we see one more operator and it is plus operator. And finally, when we will log to the console value of the variable c, we will get 20. As you see in this example, you can combine different operators just in one line of code. And if you do so, operator precedence comes in play. For example, on this line of code, we will first sum values of the variables a and b, and only after that assign result of this summing to new variable c. It means that plus operator has higher precedence than assignment operator. No worries, we will talk about that later on. But usually precedence of the operators is natural and you will get what you expect to get. Let's have a look at how assignment operator function can look like under the hood in JavaScript engine. Here is assignment operator and we assign value 10 to the variable a. And if we would declare such function with name equal sign, we will create function like this. We will use function keyword, then function name will be simply equal sign. And this function will have two parameters. First one variable and second one expression. Please note that it is simplified version of the assignment function. And uh, under the hood it is much more complicated. But let's assume that uh, there are again two parameters, variable and expression. Variable is located on the left hand side of the assignment operator and expression is located on the right hand side of the assignment operator. And first we evaluate expression on the right side. In the previous example you have seen that uh, firstly we have summed values of the variables a and b and only after that assigned a result to the variable c. It means that expression on the right is evaluated first. Next we are trying to find a variable by variable name. And we are looking for this variable in the scope where this assignment operator is used. If this variable isn't found in that scope, we are looking in the outer scope. If variable is found, we assign result of the expression to this variable. And finally, this function, 
assignment function returns result of the expression. Certainly, if you will try to declare such function in the code, you will get multiple errors. But uh, here we have used words in order to express what happens uh, when you use assignment operator. Let's quickly jump into the browser's console and uh, look at the assignment operator. Ok, here is the console of the browser and let's first declare variable a. Let a. And next let's use assignment operator a equal sign 10. And let's enter. And here we get 10. And that is the same what usually happens when you call a function. For example, if I will call function console.log without any arguments and enter, I will also get result undefined. And this result is returned by the log function. Same here. I call assignment function and this function returns this value 10. And under the hood it also performs such action as assignment of this value to the variable a. And if I will try to access variable a here, I will get 10, because now variable a holds a value 10. I can use assignment operator once again, for example reassign value and assign value true to the same variable a. And now I will get true as a result of this function call. And now variable a holds value true. Why is it important that operators act as the functions and return values? Let me show you. For example, I can call log method of the console object and here in the argument section I can write something like this a equal sign false. It means that instead of string or variable name as we have done before, I use here assignment operator. And how do you think what I will get here? Let me press enter. And I get following result. First, this assignment function is called. And under the hood JavaScript engine evaluates this expression. And it is simply value false. Then it looks for variable a. This variable a is found because we have declared it before. And that's why we can assign value to this variable. And value false is assigned to the variable a. And this assignment function returns false. And this result is passed as an argument to the log method of the console object. And that's why here you see false because console log method prints this value to the console. And finally you see here undefined. And that is what is returned by the log method. It always returns undefined. If I will try to access a now, a and enter, its value will be false. Not true as was before this function call. It is false, because here we have called assignment function. Ok, those examples clearly show you that uh, operators are functions and they act as a functions. Let's now make a pause and next let's examine most commonly used operators in practice section. See you! Thank you for watching. This video is part of the JavaScript Bible course. Link to the full length course is now here. This course includes everything related to JavaScript. I mean basic concepts of JavaScript, ES6 features, NPM, Webpack, Node.js, React and many many more. So hope to see you in the full length course. Bye bye.